Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at an Outback Ultralight model number 240 URS by Keystone. Now for specs and pricing, the dealership's information will be down in the description below. So let's get started. Okay, right off the bat, you're going to see that this unit is a little different. You're going to have um, a little storage cubby right here at the front. But you do have an access ramp right here. This is going to give you um, room. You can haul motorcycles, uh, probably a small side-by-side, -side, definitely e-bikes or anything like that. You're also going to see that your slide is actually on the back of your unit. And you have uh, automatic electric jacks too. All right. And a nice large power awning and your LED lights are going to be in the arms there. So let's go on inside and take a look. Let's start right up here with the most unique feature of this. Again, you see that you do have your access ramp here. This room also will double as a bunk room. So they give you storage right up here, a hanging area and a nice large uh, cabinet. Both of these bunks will flip up out of, out of the way. Yep. So if you don't need them, you need to haul larger toys, larger items. You can just flip those bunks up. You'll see that you do have tie down uh, D rings. You've got six of those in here. And this room is vented. So if you're hauling something with a motor, you will, they are vented. Have a nice sliding door to get into the rest of your camper. So let's move on into the kitchen area. Right up here, you're gonna have your um, radio and sound control, your microwave. This is above your three burner cooktop with an oven. You have a storage um, area down below that. Ooh, nice. Good storage up above your sink and they do give you a shelf in there. High rise faucet over your single basin sink. Oh. And they already have a garbage can in here. And a nice bank of drawers right next to it. Yep. I'll stay on this same side of the camper. Your dinette is going to be right here. Now this will let down for some additional sleeping if you need it. Your TV is going to be mounted right up here. And your AC unit is right there. This unit is going to have a 12 volt compressor fridge. Yep. Right next to the fridge is going to be a pantry area, um, or this can be used as a wardrobe if it needs to be. There's a drawer right here below it. Okay. Right across from your dinette is going to be a jackknife sofa. This will also give you some additional sleeping. The sofa will have to be in the down jackknife position for your slide to come in. So your sleeping area is right back here at the back and this is your only slide out on this unit. You've got storage on both sides up at the top and you do have a privacy curtain yep. if you need to pull that. So again, all of your sleeping area is in the slide that does slide out the back of the unit. So let's move right back down here and we'll show you the bathroom. Yes. This is gonna have a really a pretty decent sized shower with a uh, skylight. You've got about an eight inch step up there um, with a retractable door. So you have good headroom in there. Your medicine cabinet is gonna be right above your sink. And there's gonna be a little bit of storage right over here and your foot flush toilet is going to be mounted right down there. 
Okay, just another quick look at this because this is a rather unusual layout. Not a traditional toy hauler, but a very nicely done. All right, everybody, if you like this travel trailer, the dealership's uh, information for your specs and pricing, just click on the uh, dealership's information down in the description. And like always, just go ahead and follow our channel. Thanks, everybody.